Hey everyone, Bradley tuning in, coming at you with another video. We're talking three psychological tricks you need to watch out for as a buyer here in the GTA real estate market. I'm in beautiful Niagara Falls, Ontario. We're on a bit of a family vacation, but I wanted to hit you with our weekly video. We do these every week, keep you up to date in the latest tips and tricks here in the GTA real estate market. And I want to ask you guys a quick question. When you go to purchase a home, do you get linked emotionally to that purchase or do you tend to approach the situation logically. Let me know how both of those have worked out for you. Uh, but I wanna hit you with three psychological tricks we see every single day in our market. A little bit of a, a hidden uh, side to the game. First off is our listing price. Listing price act as an anchor for negotiations. So essentially what ends up happening is people start finding comparable properties that line up with that list price. In fact, in 2013, Wharton did a study that found that people that list their homes higher sold for higher. They studied 14,000 US sales. And uh, this happens in the real estate agent's pocket as well. Yes, there are comparables, but generally, we t human nature tends to follow the list price. Number two is multiple offers. Maybe we list that home low, which creates a frenzy. This happens because people want to go into competition. They maybe they're, they're intrigued by a home, but there's this whole idea of limited time only, and uh, people hate to lose more than they like to win. And uh, so what comes out of this is um, essentially people start to get a bit of a frenzy, they get very emotionally involved, and this can uh, be a great tactic in getting that higher purchase price, and we've seen this a lot in the last couple years. Number three, and my favorite, is what is, let me ask you guys, what is the difference between 1.07 million and 1.1 million? It doesn't sound very big, and that's because study, science has shown us uh, psychologically that because it's such a high number, people lose that idea of the difference, which in this case is still $30,000, which can afford you a brand new car once you've purchased that home. But there was a gentleman named Richard Thaler. He was a Nobel Peace winner, and what he said was, think about it like this. Let's say you're gonna buy a radio for $25 at the store, but then you hear 10 minutes down the road another store is selling it for 20 bucks, you get save $5. Um, or vice versa, if you were to be purchasing a TV and that TV costs you uh, $500, but then they list it down the street for $4.95, would you still be willing to travel 10 minutes to go save the $5? It's the exact same example, 10 minute drive, $5, but which would you rather do? In this case, people are more willing to do it on the lower price item because in the grand scheme of things, it seems like a more material difference, but realistically, it doesn't. So how do we protect ourselves psychologically as buyers when we're approaching the table? And I would say this, know your number, know when you're coming in, don't get too emotionally attached as much as possible, and uh, you should have more luck when it comes to negotiating. I'm gonna continue to enjoy my holidays here at Niagara Falls. I'll see you guys next week with more tips and tricks. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Take care, guys, keep it real.